Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use an Apple utility called AirDrop. Now, AirDrop is a great way of, between Macs and the same Wi-Fi network to share files. It's always a pain. You have a file on one of your computers and you have another laptop or another desktop in your same apartment on your same Wi-Fi network that you want to get the file to. Emailing it works, but it takes a little while. Finding that USB flash drive is always a pain. It's never where you think it is. So AirDrop is a great way to be able to simply just send a file right over another computer over your Wi-Fi network. It's easy, simple to use, and very fast. So today I'm going to show you how to use that. So let's say I'm on my desktop right now, and I want to send a picture that's on my desktop right over here. I want to send it to my laptop, which is on the same wireless network in my same apartment. So all you have to do is you have to go to your Finder window. So you go Finder, New Finder window. You're going to click on this little AirDrop over on the left side. Now, right now, you can see that this is my computer right now. This is my iMac. Now, my laptop is not showing up. My laptop is on, and it's in the same wireless network. But what happens is that the other computer needs to be on that same AirDrop tab in order to send it. So we're going to go over to my other laptop. I'm going to click on that AirDrop. And it's going to take a while to load. And then you can see on my iMac that Michael's MacBook has appeared. So it's saying it's right there. I can send a file to it. It's on the same network. So it's really as easy as drag and drop. So I have this picture over here on my desktop and I want to send it over to my MacBook. Simply drag, hold it over there. And it's going to ask me to make sure I want to send it. I'm going to say yes, I do want to send it. And now it's going to wait for my other laptop to accept it. This is just one security measure that Apple puts in. Um, just so if you're at a school or a business, if you're at a place with a public Wi-Fi, you won't be receiving a lot of random files from a lot of random people. The other person has to accept the file. So we're going to go look at my other uh, at my laptop and it's going to give me the options to save and open to totally decline the file or just to save it. So I'm going to say let's save and open the file. So now we can see that it's downloading and we can see the circle spinning that means it's sending the file. Now the speed at which it transfers is all based upon your computer speed as well as your wireless network. The nice thing is it doesn't have to go over the internet it's simply staying within your Wi-Fi network so it will be usually pretty fast. It's a great way to send large files um, I found out that instead of pulling on a USB drive or emailing a very large, let's say, video file, this is a great way because it stays within your Wi-Fi network and it's actually pretty fast to send a pretty large file. This was just a small one, so it went pretty quick. So we can see that it opened it up, gave me my nice photo, and now it's on my MacBook, so it's as easy as that. So AirDrop, again, makes it really simple to transfer files. Um, a few things to remember, make sure both computers are open on the AirDrop tab. If um, one of your computers is simply not have AirDrop open, it won't show up for the other computer to send it. So there's just a few things to remember to get it to work. Uh, remember to accept the file on both computers, and it's easy as that. So I hope I saved you guys a little bit of time and hassle with transferring files between two Macs on a Wi-Fi network. Have a great day.